Hi everybody, this is Sona here. Um, today I want to talk about manifesting anything you want and I'm going to tell you how I manifested my apartment. Um, I am no longer staying in Airbnbs. I have a home, a beautiful one. Um, and I manifested it in less than two weeks. I knew I had to be somewhere and spending money on Airbnbs were, it was getting too expensive and my money was running really low. So there was a nonprofit that was able to help me put down a deposit and a first month's rent for my apartment. So, cause I have a new job that I'm gonna be starting next month. Um, you all know I'm going to be a realtor. I am excited. I can't wait to help people find their home, whether it's an apartment, whether it's a house to rent, whether it's a home for purchase. Um, I'm here in Orange County and I will help anyone who needs to find that perfect apartment, whether you have good credit, um, no credit or bad credit, I will be there to help you. But anyway, I don't have good credit. And here in California, people want good credit. Well, I was applying to these apartment complexes and they were denying me left and right. Now I've wasted some money. And I was just getting really upset and I'm like getting mad at God or whatever. And, but my thing was, I was so worried about how I was gonna get it done. And then it clicked and I made a video about this. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18.21. I'm going back to that. And basically, the, mo the, the most powerful thing you can do or say is what you say to yourself. And I was beating myself really bad. I was beating myself up. And I had to stop. Then I was overthinking, like, how is this, this going to work? I had to stop that too and actually I'm gonna do a video about the how um, so basically I said okay God tell me where to go so I went to this particular apartment building told her issues with my credit and asked her what credit does she run and they said Equifax I was like okay I'll give it a shot. Went home. Me being the control freak at in. Went home. Well, went back to my hotel. Being the control freak that I am, I said, I need to see my Equifax report. Only had one thing on my Equifax report, and it was a collection. So, that was it. Collection and inquiry. And I was like, wait a minute. I ain't got no credit. What Equifax? Okay. So, I go back, and I was like, can I see the apartment again? Which I'm sitting in this apartment right now. <laughs> no furniture yet. I got to do the big move. Um, so basically, I go back, see the other guy. He says, no credit here is better than having bad credit. And I was like, well, I don't have no credit. He says, well, more likely you're going to have to pay a deposit. One month's rent. Probably standard too. I'm like, I don't care. Just get me in. So I put down the money and I'm like, okay, God, you said it can happen. So the next morning he emails me. He says, you have a fraud alert on your credit. And I'm like, hmm? He said, I need you to bring your ID and everything. Prove where, who you are. Okay, so I bring everything. And he says, that's all I need. And he called me later. He says, well, you've been approved. And I'm like, ah. You shit me, right? <laughs> you shit me. Oh, 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 oh. It's like, oh my god. So, moving day happens. Nonprofit calls me saying, 950 say, oh, we can't get the check signed. You're not going to be able to move in today. I said, I don't know how this check's going to get signed today, but I'm going to move in today. I don't know. Well, can you uh, stay at a hotel another night? Uh, no, not, a, not an option. I don't have any money. Of course, I had some money. But they, I know, they need to know that. 
So then, she has a boss to call me. Well, can you go to a shelter? Bitch, please. Are you going to stay in a shelter? No. N not an option. So I'm like, this is going to happen today. I'm moving. I'm moving today. It's going to happen today. I'm moving today. Now, at this point, I didn't worry about how. I said, I'm moving today. Somebody going to sign a motherfucking check. That's what I said. Some motherfucker gonna sign a check today. So mind you, I called down to the front desk of the hotel and said, hey, can I have a late checkout? They said, how much time you need? I said, one. They said, okay. So, I'm talking to my son. I'm like, we moving today. Watch. We gonna get in this apartment today. So, I said, just in case, let's, I'm gonna book an Airbnb. I'm do my last Airbnb. So I booked the Airbnb with a couple that I love staying with. So they had a day. I was like, oh, great. Plus the bed was freaking comfortable as hell. That bed is not bomb. So anyway, I booked it just in case. But I was like, we signing. We going in this apartment today. We picking up keys today. 12.30 rolled around. <laughs> the girl from the nonprofit says, Oh, Alicia, can you meet me at the apartment complex? I got the check signed. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I can meet you. <laughs> well, this is how what I did. I've worked for a nonprofit. Most nonprofits don't want to hear, uh, their board members don't want to hear they can't do their job, what they're supposed to do. So, I go on the website, and I look up the executive director's name. Okay. Go call type his name in the you know name by name director leave him a voicemail <laughs> he leaves a board member's number on his voicemail well <laughs> I called that board member and left a nice little message on her voicemail sending them an email he emailed he calls me within 10 minutes what are you talking about I'm sitting in my office right now what do you mean that you can't move in okay let me check into it like I said, two hours later, she was calling me. Oh, I got the check signed. So, uh, come meet me at the apartment. So, we come to the apartment, and we signed the paperwork and everything. She turned over the check and got my keys, and I moved in. Yay! Now, it's just a matter of the big move from L.A. Now, I have stuff in storage in L.A. But I'm just saying, it can happen. You know, a lot of people talk about, oh, law of attraction don't work. It's all about how you work it. If you think it's going to be like blankets there, ugh, give that up. That's not going to work. You have to take action. It's inspired action. Maybe I need to do a video on inspired action. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, guys, I have a home now. Whoever's been following my journey and um, subscribe and um Leave a comment below, like, you could like or dislike, I don't care, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.